Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create this threaded yarn animation in Blender 3D. As you can see, we can get some pretty impressive results with not that many steps. So follow along, enjoy, and comment if you have any questions. First, I'll delete everything and add in a path and scale it by 2. Then, I'll subdivide it 2 times. Next, I'll give the path some geometry and close the caps. Make sure to raise the resolution of both the path and the bevel for a smooth result. Go to your X view and duplicate your path to create multiple strands for your yarn. Adjust the width as needed and then right click and convert to mesh. Now add a simple deform modifier, twist and increase the angle to about 5000 or so. You can experiment with this. Now we have to add the shape that we want our yarn to follow. For this I'll just choose a simple curve spiral torus. You can adjust the settings as needed or copy mine. Next, apply a curve modifier to the yarn and use the eyedropper tool to select the curve. Scale the braided knot to your desired size and increase the yarn scale if you need to. Before we add the hair system, you have to apply your modifiers. Next, I'll add my hair system with these settings enabled. You'll need to experiment with this to get the desired result. Now it's time to add my custom shader. This shader will be applied in a variety of styles to each strand of the yarn for a unique look. I will apply the duplicated material to each strand with a slight hue variation to each. This will give us a super unique look. I do this by selecting each strand in edit mode and assigning a new material slot. Here is the shader node setup so that you can copy it exactly the way that I have. Once I have my colors looking the way I want them to, I switch to rendered mode and I add in my HDRI environment texture. If you want a more dramatic look, you can add an area light off to one side. Next I frame up my camera shot and I get as close to my subject as I can. I like to use a strong sense of depth of field to give that soft background look. To get a more dramatic effect, use a very long camera lens and a very low f-stop. You can see that in this shot I'm experimenting with the lighting a little bit and I've also added a background plane made of glass with a high roughness to give an even greater sense of depth of field. Even though we're not actually using depth of field, we can sort of fake the effect with a blurry background using a pane of glass. The lighting really matters here to make the material look good, so I would suggest experimenting for best results. Here's another example of a very similar scene with completely different lighting, and look at how much more dramatic the result can be if you just experiment a little bit. Now to animate your yarn along the path, all you have to do is keyframe the X position of the yarn. Now I'm hoping that the key takeaway here is that you absolutely need to experiment to get amazing results in Blender. There is no one size fits all. This tutorial will not work for every single situation, but it is a basic guide to at least get you started. And you can see by the examples here that you can get some pretty awesome results with just very few steps. Also, remember that my settings won't work for every situation and you'll most likely want to change the setting for the amount of yarn twists, the hair particles, materials, lighting, and other factors such as how fast your yarn moves along the path. For example, in this shot, I'm extremely close to the subject and I'm using a camera lens that would never be feasible in real life, with an extremely strong sense of depth of field. You can see on the right hand side that I'm also using a color ramp to control the color of the yarn itself and the shader really goes a long way. In fact, the shader itself is really the real magic here behind our scene. Thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial. I hope that it was useful and you could take away some awesome information from it. Have a great day and comment if you have any questions. Also I will be posting the source file on Gumroad for you guys to download. 